Yeah, it's on, to be honest, it is better than I thought. 1,472 days after Salesianum School announced it wanted to replace the city of Wilmington's crumbling Baynard Stadium with an entirely new multi-sport facility, it is finally time to kick off the first game. When you're here at night and the lights are on, uh, you, you feel like you're in a you're in a big time stadium, and I think a lot of kids are going to get to enjoy that. The city of Wilmington didn't have the money to fix up the old stadium, which was home to a number of local high school football and track teams. Salesianum, a Catholic boys' school nearby, raised 25 million to build the new Abyssinio Stadium, and the school will staff it. But the city still owns the property, and the teams that called the old place home, they will now play here too. The Salesianum alum, whose name is on the building, kicked in millions. Lots of donors helped too. Their names are now on the bricks coming into the complex. This is going to be a very cool place for kids to play. Having as many uh, young athletes play in a facility like this raises their confidence, uh, raises their motivation in part. Facilities is an important part. Now, the stadium might look like it just belongs to Salesianum, but it doesn't. In fact, all the flags, the scoreboard, the padding around the goalposts, everything is interchangeable. They have extra sets of everything for every school that will call this their home field. Workers are literally going to be getting this place ready right up until Salesianum and Smyrna kick off under the Friday night lights. There's now a physical therapy center on site, large locker rooms, terraces for post COVID standing room only games. There are large press boxes and broadcast booths and a large indoor outdoor reception room the schools can use during games. Delaware State Parks employees also have offices and equipment sheds on the property, and it's a property that even area grade schools and community groups will be using. Nobody except the high school football teams used to be allowed. On the old grass field. There are some hallmarks of Salesianum here at the stadium, there's no question about it, but we want to make this a home for lots and lots of users. The more use here, the better. In Wilmington, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.